hello it's me and today I'll be doing a review on the Bandai movie monster series Biolante from Godzilla vs Biolante so I got this figure for my birthday because I'm making something which I'll show you in a little bit and I do like the size comparisons and stuff but my dad got me this just because it was because I was making one. It'd be nice just to have another one because it is. It's a very nice sculpt, even though it's in scale. It's a really nice figure. So didn't come with the little tag that it usually has, unfortunately. But I mean, it doesn't really matter because you can get this guy for well, you can get her for quite cheap on eBay. Like, uh, I don't know how much it is, but like, yeah, it isn't in scale, but it is quite a nice one to have. Like, if you do, like, the correct camera angles, you can make it look bigger. And I'm pretty sure there's another version of Biolante, which is, like, ever so slightly bigger, I think, that exists. But this is quite a nice one. It's like a baby Biolante. But... With, for the detail, it's very, it's very impressive for, like, the price. Because, like, switching to the special camera lens, you can see it's got very impressive detail on the head. And it's quite translucent, I've noticed. Like, you can see it's a slightly translucent plastic. I don't know if that's on purpose. But it's got really nicely sculpted teeth on the bottom and the top. Slightly painted, but not really. The teeth, as always, are sculpted into a bit of plastic, which looks quite nice. Then it's got all the little sort of dorsal platey type leaves down her back. It's got the lovely... I love the way they did the chest on Biolante, like the sort of, the core, I'd say, I don't really know what it is, but like, you can see it's very nicely sculpted. The tent the tendrils, the top, the mouths, well, the little heads on the end, I might have to get the lens for this so it actually focuses. You can see, are uh, sculpted very nicely. <laughs> they attempted to paint them, but guess it didn't really work out. This side's quite nice, but then there's nothing on that side. The other one is painted slightly more, but it's still quite messy. But it's it's very nice at the price point. There it's got the little sort of the little what do you get? Yeah, the little rose thorns all over her body. So there's like a couple on the tendrils and at the base of the figure. It's hollow, so it's got like this little hole at the bottom. And then it's got more of the really nice dorsal plate type leaf things. And something that I really like is the way they've done these back tendrils. I mean, it would have been nice if they are articulated, but they are incredibly well sculpted. Like the way that they have them sort of bending and curling around and the sculpt's really nice for these heads at the back and then it's more of the same sort of plant structure with all the little vines going up a body with more of the thorns it's not painted but i don't really blame them then it's got it's really nice muscle structure that they've done with this which i've noticed which i might have to do on my other biolante it's got a fairly, fairly long neck, which I don't remember Violante having. I think it should have been connected a bit closer in there, because I don't remember Violante's neck being that long. But it's not bad. It's a very nice figure. And it's got the average Bandai articulation, where it's a swivel at the head, so it can spin all the way around. It's also got very nice detailing under the jaw as well. Then the tendrils are on a swivel, so you can have her sort of smacking Godzilla, I guess. 
So not much articulation, but I guess there's literally nothing you can do with Biolante unless you're Monster Arts, where you just, even with Monster Arts, it's just jaw, neck, tendrils, nothing else. Because like there isn't a, you can't really add a joint in the middle because it will look bad and you don't really need it because in the film, the only bits that move are her head and her tendrils. But it's, <laughs> it is a very, like, I don't know whether you should get this one for animation. I did see, I think it was like Mind Turtle Animations, I think did a stop motion with this Biolante versus Godzilla. But I think they used the slightly bigger one. What I would have liked them to see, what, what I would have liked to have seen was instead of making this one, then one like that much taller, is to make one that's actually in scale. Maybe, I mean, it might have been, it probably would have been quite expensive, but it would have been quite nice, even if they did it with no joints whatsoever. It would have been just a nice thing for them to do. Also, I'm not a huge fan of them having the mouths closed at the front because you want them sort of like biting Godzilla or something. But that's about it for the detail and articulation because there's no accessories and no box or the tag for this one. So now onto the size comparison, which like I said, there's nothing, I've got one thing that scales with it, which I'll show you in a minute. But here, here she is next to my, in the middle of being customized Godzilla 1994, who you can see is extremely out of scale. Like it should be the opposite way around for it to be in scale. Here she is next to the Monster Art Godzilla 2001, who again, absolutely dwarf. No, she's dwarfed by him. <laughs> then here she is next to the Necker Godzilla 1954, who I compare next to all my figures whenever I'm doing a review. And not finally, here we. Here she is next to the Trendmasters Godzilla 1994, who actually I'm pretty sure she scales with, which is really nice. I might do an animation and not customise these. I might do a, re a repainting, but I don't think so. But you can see, like, you can make the classic, like, biting down on his head, which looks quite good. So if you want to get something that's in scale with her, get the Trendmasters Godzilla 1984, no, 1994. You can get it on eBay for quite cheap. Also, tell me if you want me to do a review on this guy. And finally, here she is next to my, literally in the middle of being made by Lante figure who still needs a lot more work being done on her but there you go so you can see that's actually in scale with all the others and i have also bought the monster arts godzilla 1989 because originally i was going to do biolante versus 2001 which i still might do depending on the exact scale of the 1989 but the chest is going to glow on this one all the tendrils are bendy wire with an articulated jaw and the mouth opens and closes on wire and I still need to attach that. But I don't know when this Biolante is going to be finished, but do expect to see her sometime in like maybe a month or so might be finished. I don't know. This is my first time I've ever shown her. So, yeah. But that about does it for this review. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.